Hey everyone. Welcome to the psychology lecture series. In the following videos, I'm going to talk about statistics in psychology. Statistics is a branch of mathematics. In this video, we are going to talk about measures of central tendency. Psychological statistics is application of formulas, theorems, numbers and laws of psychology. Statistical methods for psychology include development and application statistical theory and methods for modeling psychological data. These methods include psychometrics, factor analysis, experimental designs, and multivariate behavioral research. Statistics allows us to make sense of and interpret a great deal of information. In psychology, we are also confronted with enormous amounts of data. Statistics allows psychologists to organize data, describe data, and make inferences based upon data. Your foundation of statistical knowledge will allow you to make better sense of the research. Visual displays such as graphs, pie charts, frequency distributions, and scatter plots make it possible for researchers to get a better overview of the data and to look for patterns they might otherwise miss. Think about what happens when researchers collect a great deal of information about a group of people. Census is a great example. Using statistics, we can accurately describe the information that has been gathered in a way that is easy to understand. Descriptive statistics provide a way to summarize what already exists in a given population, such as how many men and women are there, how many children are there, or how many people are currently employed. They include the measures of central tendency and the measure of variability. Central tendency involves different kinds of averages the mean, median, and mode. By using what is known as inferential statistics, researchers can infer things about a given sample or population. Psychologists use the data they have collected to test a hypothesis or a guess about what they predict will happen. Using this type of statistical analysis, researchers can determine the likelihood that a hypothesis should be either accepted or rejected. Variability involves the standard deviation which indicates how far scores in a group are likely to be from are likely to be from the average. The most common statistical tests include the student's t-test and the analysis of variance or f-test. These statistics help the psychologist assess whether the differences in averages across groups are due to the effects of an independent variable. Another widely used inferential statistic is the correlation coefficient which describes the strength of the relationship between two variables. Central tendency is a way to describe the center of a data set. The three measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and mode. Mean is calculated by adding up all the scores in a group and it is divided by the number of participants. Imagine the following are the scores from a memory test. The scores are out of 20 and it is obtained from an inclusive group of teenagers that is between the age 13 to 19. These are the scores of 14 participants. In order to calculate the mean of these scores, 
we need to add the scores. This gives us 222. The total of the scores is 10 divided by the number of participants in the study. In this test, the number of participants is 14. So, 222 divided by 14 gives us 15.86. So, the mean is 15.86. The mean can be considered an accurate and sensitive measure of the average of a set of scores. A weakness of using the mean is that it can be influenced by a single score. For example, in this group, if a participant gets a score like 7, it can be considered a single score that will significantly lower the mean calculation. Median is the middle score. It is calculated by arranging our data in ascending order. If there is an even number of scores, the two middle scores are averaged to find the median. It can only be used when the data is of at least ordinal level. In this set of scores, the median value can be considered as 3.5. It is not easily affected by single scores. A weakness of using median is that it is only concerned with the middle number in a set of raw data. It doesn't consider any of the other scores. Mode is the most common score. It can be used with any level of data because it requires only at the least nominal data. In this set of data, the mode is 19 as the number 19 appears more frequently than any other in this set of data. This is also not affected by single scores. A weakness of using this mode is that it is only concerned with the most frequently occurring number in a set of raw data. It doesn't consider any of the other scores. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.